call to worship. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and did not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought up my soul from Sheol, restored me to life from among those gone down to the pit. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime.
Please be seated. It's time for the children. We have children here today. I can see them with my very own eyes. Come on up. I have something very important to do and show you today. How you doing? How is everybody? Everybody here? Everybody here? Everybody's almost here. Okay. I have a piece of paper to show you. And what I'm going to show you today is all about, those are lovely, all about love. Help me count these corners. How many corners do you see on this piece of paper? One, two, three, four. Well, we're going to give this piece of paper is a lot like love. I'm going to give some of that love away today. Somebody want to pick that up? Find somebody to give that to. There you go. Good choice. I bet you that's your mother, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty good choice today. Now, let's go. Wait, what? What happened? There were four corners. Now, how many corners are there? One, two, three, four, five. There are more. I don't understand. We took a piece off, and now there are more corners. Let's do it again and see what happens. Find somebody to give it to. Quickly. Now, good choice. Now let's count the corners. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. Every time you give away love, it looks like there's more. You want to give one away? Do you want to give away one? Hey, little one. Do you want to give away one? There you go. And oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look, look, how much, look how much love we have now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every time we give away love, it just gets more and more. There's more love every time we give it away. Isn't that amazing? There you go. And there's one for you. And, and look what happens. Look what happens when we, when we give away all this love. What happens? It, it just makes more and more and more and more and more and more. And, and, and has anybody noticed what's happened to our piece of paper? What shape is it in now? It's a circle. Isn't that amazing? It is a circle. And does anybody know? Does anybody know where the circle begins and ends? Does anybody know? No. No. And a circle is like God's. Love. That's exactly right. Now, today's a very special day. Do you know what today is? Mother's Day. Today is Mother's Day. You're exactly right. And so we're giving lots of love away to mothers today because, well, because it's Mother's Day. Can we have a prayer? Let's fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you for mothers and for their love and for taking care of us and for loving us and for showing us the way. And what are we going to do for mothers today? And make your mom happy. Okay, that sounds like a good thing to do. All right, it is time for us to go to where we need to go today. And looks like they are off and running. Our scripture this morning comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. 
And so, brothers and sisters, I could not speak to you as spiritual people, but rather as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for solid food. Even now you are still not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For as long as there is jealousy and quarreling among you, you are not of the flesh, and behaving according to human inclinations. For when one says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have a common purpose, and each will receive wages according to the labor of each. For we are God's servants, working together. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
seated. Please listen to a reading of Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in the darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation.
Hear now a reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 5, verses 1 through 3, verse 8, and verses 11 and 12. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you and watch. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, so that those who love your name may exalt in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favor as with a shield. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lead me, Lord. The concept is very simple. Give one penny for every year of a woman's life to honor her, whether it's your life, your mother, a teacher, a mentor, a daughter. This year's birthday offering will fund three grants, and the amount of the grants depends on the amount given by congregations. The three organizations supported by this year's offering include two in the US and one in Honduras. The Cottage Village in Oregon will create a protective and compassionate tiny house community for low-income rural people. The Village of Grace Center for Physical and Spiritual Health in Honduras, which was originally a PCUSA mission, will become a PCUSA retreat center managed by the Presbyterian women there. This year's offering will also enable the dwelling place in Minnesota to purchase a vacant lot in order to build a multi-use building to further support women and children who have escaped living with a violent domestic partner. There are envelopes in the pews, so think of the women in your life and please give in their honor to the birthday offering. Thank you. Thank you, Betsy. Let us now worship God with the symbols of who we are on this glorious day that we give praise to God. Let us worship God with our tithes and our offerings.
Gracious and loving God, giver of all good gifts, we give you thanks and praise for this glorious day, for the chance to sing your praises loud and strong. We thank you for all the ways that you have blessed us, and we ask that you would give us strength and courage to take these gifts, multiply them, and use them for your work in the world. But even more importantly, O oh God, help us to find room in these plates for our very selves as we give not just what we have, but who we are to you each and every day in service of your love. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Our next reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 6 through 9. Is not this the fast that I choose to loose the bounds of injustice and undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house, when you see the naked to cover them? and not to hide yourself from your own kin. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. have and take a moment for some announcements. Uh, next week is Pentecost Sunday. 
Uh, we hope that you will come and wear red. Uh, it is going to be a big and happy day as we have been building up our month of wholeness and healing. And we will have a Pentecost party following worship service at 930. So uh, we hope that you will plan to stay for that. It is going to be a, a big celebration and we hope that we will, you will make that part of your day. Uh, I have been asked to announce, unfortunately, that we've had a death this week of a friend of the congregation, Carl Wolf, who is uh, a longtime pastor, a uh, friend of many here, uh, passed away this week. We hope that you will remember him. Uh, there is an obituary that is being published. I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head where that is right now. Peggy, do you know? Okay. Uh, anybody else know? Larry? Pardon? It was in yesterday's paper, okay. And it's, it's on the Presbytery website as well. Uh, thank you, Larry. Uh, the funeral will be uh, Tuesday at Bluffton, at the Bluffton Presbyterian Church. 10.30, I'm told. Okay. <laughs> Other announcements we need to make for my feeble memory. Oh, once again, welcome. We're glad that you all are here. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Genesaret and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked all night long but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I'll let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
goodness, what a glorious day this has been. Yes, praise God. Take this with you. Use it this week. Be open. Be open to the possibilities. Be open to God's Spirit. Be open to each other. Be open to yourself. And may the blessings of God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Mother, bless you and keep you. Make God's face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up God's countenance upon you and give you peace, both now and always. Let all God's people say,